Okay, this is an interesting case. The student done an impression, a primary impression, and it looks beautiful. The lingual pouches are excellent. They are longer. I could see the fold going through. But one point, do you see that the edges of the tray is, uh, are appearing? Yeah. Is this a dentated trait or a dentulous trait? Yeah, yeah, supposedly Was it? dentulous. Supposedly a dentulous. Yeah. Can you t the flip it? Okay. Uh, you're not sure. Mm. Okay. Sometimes this happens if you used a dentated tray for an edentulous impression. Yeah. Because dentated trays, they have long walls because they want to accommodate having teeth. And this especially happens with these types of trays. Mm. Okay. These are for dentate. Mm. They're square shaped. So this happens that the tray borders are longer than the borders that we have. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this, this might be a reason. If you used incorrect tray. Okay. What else can happen? Even with a dentate edentulous tray, the patient is edentulous, but the patient doesn't have a, a large ridge. He doesn't have a lot of attached gingiva. So this also happens. What am I going to do here? Do I need to repeat? Well, the other features of the tray, other than it appearing in the sulci, are excellent. I'm not going to let you repeat, but I'm going to instruct the technician. When they do the trimming for the special tray, make them three millimeters rather than two. Okay. okay. Three millimeters short. Yeah. That especially Especially, mark these areas with the copia pencil. Okay. Once he, uh, once he uh, pours the cast, the primary cast, he will have the areas where I need the excessive reduction, okay. three rather than two millimeter for the special tray. Okay. So it will compensate for the touching of the tray of the silkus. It will not produce pressure points on the tray. Okay. And also, when you're going to re uh, check the tray in the patient's mouth when you're doing the secondary impression. Trim the tray short from the functional cast, especially in these areas, from the functional sulci. Okay, so trim the trim it short and make sure that it's trimmed well short in these areas where they have already been marked. So what are you going to use? Bring a cobia pencil, wet it with water, and mark all of these areas so it will appear in the impression when they pour it. Okay, so you know which sulci am I going to the, the uh, check in my tray even before I do border moving. Okay, thank you.